Television may picture for those at home the work of far-off explorers, or it may reveal to military officials the details of distant maneuvers. The most fanciful dream of mankind is today a startling reality, destined to become the world's most popular science. AMC presents Western legend John Wayne. Billy. Hello, John. You ought to have better sense than that. Coming up behind a man, you're as fast as you used to be. Maybe faster. America's favorite cowboy stars with Dean Martin in The Sons of Katie Elder, Thursday on AMC. The star of the movie we're about to see was one of those actors whose work was constantly recognized among the best in the industry, but he never really achieved what you'd call stu uh, superstar status. Now, the man's name is Arthur Kennedy, who was nominated five times for Academy Awards, including the movie we are about to see. Newsweek uh, called him one of the finest young actors on the American stage or screen, and a lot of people agreed. Kennedy was one of those quietly powerful actors who was so believable in any role that he played that audiences really had great difficulty realizing that he was acting through the whole thing. He plays a blind World War II veteran in this movie, and in order to accomplish the feat that he does here, he wore opaque contact lenses throughout the entire filming. He also worked extensively with the staff at the Valley Forge Military Hospital, learning to understand the impact that sudden blindness would have on a person from a, a physical and social and emotional perspective. Skills like obstacle perception uh, that most of us can't even imagine all had to be learned. And Kennedy uses many of them uh, in the film, and they're still taught today, many of them. For added authenticity and help, the staff and patients of the Valley Forge Military Hospital were cast as extras in all the location filming. Now, this movie won the Distinguished Service Award from the President's Committee on Employment of the Physically Handicapped. Here's Arthur Kennedy, Bright Victory. <laughs> Starring George Raft and Virginia Mayo, next on AMC. World War II came to an end 50 years ago, but its stories will live on forever. What happened to my friend? What happened to that great little Pima kid who wanted to burn up the world? He didn't come back from the war, he's gone! I ain't been the same since they tried to make me out something I'm not. I'm an air officer. There are things I can do and things I can't do. I can check casualty lists, and I can order more men up into the air tomorrow to become new casualties. Now, Ian... Like so many things worth saving in Hollywood, the fate of the Freeman House will depend on the kindness of strangers. But anyone wishing to be enveloped by another era need only come here, where, on a rare jasmine-scented evening, you could believe it's a city where some dreams may still come true. For AMC in Hollywood, I'm Peter Jones. The golden age of Hollywood. There's never been anything like it before or since. It was a time when stars were larger than life. A glamorous era of big studios, adoring fans, and intriguing behind-the-scenes stories. You can still experience these legendary times in AMC Magazine. Each issue features stories of the biggest stars, including spectacular photos. And you'll never search for a classic movie, because AMC's program listings are included, with descriptions of every classic movie and original production. There's also Movie Palace Memories, a look at America's majestic theaters. 
Plus, AMC host Bob Dorian shares the inside stories of each month's featured movies. There's even a column where you can write to Bob with your questions. To order AMC Magazine and save 50% off the cover price, call 1-800-535-7700. Use your Visa or MasterCard, or send a check or money order for $12.95 to this address. AMC Magazine, where the golden age of Hollywood lives on.